Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Well, first video of our ST70 rebuild. And I actually haven't finalized the deal on this, but I had a customer or a viewer that sent me a pair of these to rebuild. And let me show you what the inside of this thing looks like. Yeah, that's a hot mess. It's got like all these motor run caps and solene film caps and wires and stuff going everywhere and this homemade circuit board that the tubes are on. And yeah, I was scared to even plug this thing in. And so when I talked to the guy about what he was wanting and he had bought a pair of these that had been bridged so they were like mono amps. And they were on these kind of weird stand things because all that stuff that's hanging out below the edge of the chassis, you couldn't even put the bottom cover back on it. I, I don't know where the bottom covers are. Didn't have any tubes or anything. And I was like, dude, I've got this R8 that's got, you know, ISO Tango iron. It makes 55 watts of power. He wanted to he has some planar magnetic speakers and it's like yeah i think this thing will drive it fine and it's going to be reliable and you're going to have more in restoring a pair of these and then you're running them as bridged push-pull parallel which i just don't think is a good idea and i mean i know you can do it but to me when you start trying to parallel tube circuits there's too much weirdness because they're not identical tubes are just not identical like that and when you start trying to parallel output tubes i feel like weird stuff just happens so hopefully we can work this deal out and i could take these two st70s on trade and my plan is to rebuild one of these using a Tubes for Hi-Fi kit. Get one of their boards. We're going to get rid of this motor run cap that somebody hot glued on the top of the chassis. I got the OG can cap that sits over here. We're going to tube rectify it. We're going to run EL34 tubes. We're going to put the four-way bias adjusting board that uses three 12 AU7s in the front end and gonna you know clean up the jacks and get rid of this weird little heap stuck this jack through the switch and put them back here where they're supposed to be and try to get this thing looking like an ST70 again. This is an OG one. This is not a reproduction. These aren't you know, copies of the original transformer. These are the original cloth wired transformers. So I think that's cool. And it's got the original cage. It's still got the original finish on it. And they look fairly nice. They got some, looks like house paint splatters on them or something. They must have been painting a room with them in the room or something at some point in their life. But I think we can get that cleaned up. And then I gotta try to find the bottom covers. Like I said, they got missing. They built these kind of weird looking stands. I it's kind of growing on me, but I don't know if it's like growing on me like a fungus or it's growing on me because it's kind of cool because somebody made it. Put in the comments below what you think of this little stand they're on. It does make the amp take up a whole lot more room, but I guess I could use them. I don't know. I'll have to decide on that later. But, you know, I'll have to see how hard it is going to be to come up with a, you know, bottom cover. I'd like to get an OG one. But, you know, there's got to be one out there that the, the top's all messed up or holes drilled in it or something that has a bottom cover that I can get something reasonable. I do know they make reproduction ones that I don't know if it's got the same... I know they're made out of stainless. I don't know if they're polished like this or if they're, you know, raw finished stainless. I'll have to kind of look into that. But anyway, I want to turn this back into a stereo amp like it was. And I think this 35 watt kind of power range 
fits well with what I'm wanting to do as far as my sound. And it would allow me to experiment with some speakers that maybe aren't as efficient. And, you know, I'm kind of finding that like my 300B amp, it sounds really good with jazz, like really good. And like that trip hop music, like Hugo Can't, I really like the way it sounds with that stuff. But then when I put on some really harder core rock and roll, it just doesn't seem to have the kick. And I do have those KT120 mono blocks, which do sound good with rock and roll. But a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments over the last couple of years about, you know, wanting to see an ST70. It was actually on the splash screen from a Monday monologue with the tubes for hi-fi board with an ST70. And so I thought it was time to do one. And I think this is a good one to do. I really like that tubes for hi-fi board. It really cleans up the inside. We can get rid of these, just all this crap that's underneath this thing. And it should be fairly easy to wire this thing back up. And so, here we go. Into another project. And I'm hoping this will be pretty quick because I'm not planning on doing any kind of re-engineering or trying to like refigure this thing out i just want to show y'all how to fix one of these and these things have been out for so long and there's like so many people that have done different mods and stuff on them and i know this tubes for hi-fi guy you know he was saying they've been doing this for decades and so this stuff's all been figured out and i don't need to like reinvent the wheel here and a lot of people are really happy with the way these things sound. And so it'll give me an opportunity to like also review one of these and say, yep, this is a great sounding amp. Y'all should get one of these. And it'll be interesting to see how this sounds compared to like an R8. Even with that ISO Tango iron, I don't know. We'll see. These are supposed to be really good output transformers too. So... I think this is going to be a fun journey. And like I said, quite a few folks have asked about doing this. And so I think this is going to be a fun little side project that shouldn't take too much time to do. I'm thinking it's probably going to be two or three episodes of, you know, whipping the board in it, hooking some wires up. Probably going to try to do a more detailed kind of showing you how to do it. I mean, I may gut this off camera because it's not a standard ST70 by any means. And so you don't need to see me pulling all of this stuff out of the inside of this amp. And like this stuff just like just dangling down and hot glue in place and the hot glue's falling off because it got hot. I mean, yeah, that's not a way to build a tube amplifier. So let me get this thing all gutted. Like I said, that shouldn't take too long. The board should be here soon. And then once they get here, they go ahead and get them bolted in and then show y'all like step by step how to wire this thing up so you can do one yourself. And these things are all over eBay. They made a zillion of these amps. And so you can get one of these older ones and revamp it. Or I would assume that building one of those kits would be very similar as far as like wiring everything up. So maybe it'll help you. If you get one of those kits, figure out how to wire it up. So, Anyway, if you're enjoying this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Thanks to all you Patreon supporters and you other folks that help support Skooky Designs and the stuff we're doing here. And until the next video, have a nice day. Yeah.